Hi everybody, Chris here. This video is called, What Kind of Base Should I Get? This is mainly about uh, the decision process I went through, but maybe it'll help you too. Uh, first of all, if you're in school, hopefully you can use uh, the school's base to get started learning the basics. Pardon the pun. Um, I'm not in school, so that was not an option for me. Um, but um, that's definitely an option. Otherwise, um, the other obvious choices are you can either rent one or buy one. Um, I chose to buy one because um, I uh, felt pretty confident that I was going to uh, stay committed to the playing the instrument for a while. And um, I had the money, so that's what I did. I took the money and ran. Um, anyway, if you go to purchase an instrument, I recommend you take an expert with you, either uh, your teacher from school, if you're in school, um, or if you're taking uh, bass lessons with the bass teacher, uh, or uh, if you have a friend who plays the bass, uh, take them with you. Um, because the salesmen generally, you know, they're going to be helpful, but, you know, they want to make a sale, and they're going to tell you, uh, maybe won't give you all the information you need. Um, so the options on where to find one are you can find a base at a local music store, possibly. Um, some larger music stores may have bases uh, if they sell other stringed instruments like violins um, and cellos. Um, generally, they're going to be entry level instruments or intermediate, maybe. Um, if not that, uh, if you're in a larger city, um, there should be violin shops that may also carry basses, um, or there may even be a, um, a bass-only shop. Um, I didn't find one around where I live. Actually, there was, but uh, I didn't go there. I bought mine at my local music store, um, mainly because I wanted a warranty and someplace close uh, that I could take it to if I had problems. Um, and so my bass came with both of those. Uh, it's got a... Uh, lifetime warranty and also a uh, service plan. Um, the shop that I bought it from has a complete uh, instrument repair department and a service stringed instruments and all kinds of instruments. So I can take it in there anytime I have a problem, which was important to me. Um, so other than that, um, there's always classified ads. You can uh, buy a used instrument from and a used instrument from someone. Um, and again, uh, buyer beware. And uh, if you have a friend or a teacher who will go with you and look at it and try it out, um, that would be advisable. Um, the other item to think about is uh, the construction of the base. Um, there's basically, here I go again, there's um, mainly three different styles of construction of bases. Um, in decreasing order of cost. Um, there's a fully carved base, um, which most classical players prefer because um, it has a richer tone. Um, it vibrates, the wood vibrates more freely. Um, down a notch from that is uh, called a hybrid base, and that's what mine is. It's the front soundboard is fully carved, uh, spruce, I believe, and then the sides and the back are laminated wood. Um, and then uh, last but not least is fully laminated. So the front is made of laminated wood. Uh, probably uh, it's laminated and put in a mold and pressed into the, the carved shape, the arched shape. Um, and anyway, my understanding is that people that play often or roughly uh, maybe in uh, folk, rockabilly, bluegrass. Um, they prefer uh, fully laminated instruments because they're more durable. If you have a uh, fully carved bass, um, it's more susceptible to cracking. Um, and that's not always a good thing. So those are the things to think about. Um, other than that, um, I think that's about all I can tell you right now.
Um, I'll go into more description in another video of all the details of the construction, the parts of the base, what they're named, what their purpose is. Um, but for now, uh, you can find more information on my base. I did another uh, video on my review of the base. It's a Samuel Eastman. Um, it's a Chinese-made base, but it's a very nice base. Um, and it's the model number is VD90, and it's a hybrid uh, part carved, part laminated base. Um, it has a full ebony fingerboard um, detail piece, and I like it a lot. And I've been told it sounds very nice. So anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more base lesson videos. Take care. Bye-bye.